Function Basics Functions are a handy way for us to split up a set of instructions into separate areas with, hopefully, descriptive names. Having functions in our program helps with breaking up our program into smaller pieces, which helps with readability and maintainability over time. In math, we work with functions like this, f of x equals x plus 5. x is an input, the function f is expecting. We can pass in different values when we call f, and a number is returned as the result. For example, f of 1 is 6, f of 2 is 7, and f of 3 is 8. So we have a function name, f, one or more inputs, x, and a return value. We can build the same kind of function in C++. Float f, parameter list float x, and within the function body, return x plus 5. First is the return type, then the function name, then within parentheses we list our input parameters as variables with their type and name. Then within the curly braces is the function body, where we write our instructions for what this function does. In C++, we put our function declarations in header files, .h or .hpp. The function definitions go in source files, or .cpp. The function declaration contains the function signature, which is the return type, function name, and parameter list, with a semicolon at the end. Don't forget the file guards in the header files. The function definition contains the function signature and the function body. Any files that you want to use these functions in, you will need to have an include statement for that file in double quotes. Within other functions, we can call the function by invoking the function's name, providing arguments, and storing any returned data in a variable. The arguments you provide can be literals or other variables. That value will then be usable in the function via a corresponding parameter. A function isn't required to have any parameters or return any data. If a function doesn't return anything, we set its return type to void. There are a lot of nuances to functions to learn about. We will talk about functions some more next time.